Hello students, let us discuss a new topic, properties of operations on whole numbers. So, let's understand what are the whole numbers. So, at first, we'll see what are the natural numbers. As you all know, we represent the counting numbers by 1, 2, 3, 4, so on till infinity. These counting numbers are known as natural numbers. So now, one question is there. How many children are there in class 6 who are more than 20 years old? So your answer will be 0. Now the question is, is 0 a natural number? So no, 0 is not a natural number. Now, if we include 0 in the set of natural number, we have the set of whole numbers. Means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. These all are called whole numbers. So, we will discuss some maths facts here related to natural numbers and whole numbers. So first, the smallest natural number is 1. Second, 0 is the smallest whole number. Third fact, all natural numbers are whole numbers, but all whole numbers are not natural numbers. Why? Because all natural numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are whole numbers, but all whole numbers means 0. 0 is not a natural number. There is no largest whole number. So these are the math facts about natural numbers and whole numbers. Now coming to the main topic properties of operations on whole numbers. So now let's see what are the operations. Here we are talking about the mathematical operations. So here operation means an operation on two numbers is a way of dealing with two numbers to obtain a result. So basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are the basic operations of mathematics. Now, coming to the topic, properties of operations on whole numbers. So, let's see. We know that 5 and 6 are whole numbers. What is 5 plus 6? That is 11. This 11 is also a whole number. Right? Like this, 21 and 25 are also whole numbers. When we will add these two whole numbers, we will get 46 as a result. So, this 46 is also a whole number. Like this, 5000 and 9000, both are whole numbers. Now, add these two whole numbers and the result will be a whole number, obviously, 14,000. This is also a whole number. So, by these examples, we observe that when we are adding any two whole numbers, We will get whole number as result means whole number 1 plus whole number 2 is equal also a whole number. So this is the first property of whole numbers which says 
whole numbers are closed under addition. This is just a mathematical way to say this. In the simple language, we can say that whole number, when we are adding two or more whole number, we are getting whole number as a result. This is called closer property of addition. Ah. Now, the question is, are whole numbers closed under subtraction? This question says that when we are subtracting one whole number by the other whole number, are we getting a whole number as a result? Let's see. 5 minus 2 5 is a whole number and 2 is also a whole number and the result is 3 this is also a whole number right like this if i say 100 minus 99 the result is 1 this is also a whole number if i say 5 minus 8 so what the result will we get here 5 minus 8 is it possible can you subtract 8 from 5 it is not possible but we are writing it as minus 3 this is minus 3 is a negative number here we are not talking right now we are not discussing about the negative number but you know that is not a valid number right It's not a whole number. Like this, if I'll say 50 minus 100, then also we are getting minus 50. This is also not a whole number. Hence, we can say whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. Means... When we are subtracting one whole number by the other whole number, it's not compulsory that we'll get whole number as a result. Now, we have discussed closer property for addition and subtraction. Now, the third operation, multiplication. So, the same question is here. Are whole numbers closed under multiplication? Let's see. 5 multiplied by 2. 5 is a whole number and 2 is also a whole number. 5 twos are 10. We get 10 answer. So 10 is also a whole number like this. 100 multiplied by 10. 100 and 10 both are whole number whole number multiplied by whole number is this is 1000 which is also a whole number right like this if we will see 0 multiplied by 50 both are whole numbers so you all know if we are multiplying any number by 0 we are getting 0 as result so, 0 is also whole number. One more example we can see. Suppose we are multiplying 20 multiplied by 1000. This is 20,000 which is a whole number. Right. So, by these examples, we can see whole numbers are closed under multiplication. Means when we are multiplying two whole numbers, we are getting a whole number as a result. Now, the last operation, 
of mathematics that is division so the same question is here are whole numbers closed under division let's see if we are dividing 8 by 4 so 2 as a result which is a whole number right now if we are dividing by 5 the answer will be 0 0.8 which is not a whole number this is not a whole number right like this if we'll see if we'll write 3 upon 12 which is 0 0.25 now if we are dividing 4 by 0 you know if we are dividing a number by 0, the result is not defined. It is undefined. So, we have observed here that in all the cases we are not getting whole number as result. So, we can say that whole numbers are not closed under division so in this video we have discussed the closer property of whole numbers in which we have learned that whole numbers are closed under addition not closed under subtraction and whole numbers are closed under multiplication and not closed under division which means when we are adding two whole numbers, we are getting whole number as result and it's not compulsory in the case of subtraction. Similarly, when we are multiplying two whole numbers, we are getting a whole number as a result and it's not compulsory in the case of division. So, I hope the video will be helpful for you all. We will see the next property of the whole number in the next video. Thank you so much.